Yo, what it do, man? Big 40 on dying. I'm coming at y'all with another motherfucking video, where I ain't gonna lie. No, I ain't posted. I ain't posting in like three days, man. I've been busy. Nigga had work. I just started a new job. Praise the Lord for that. It's Sunday right now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're gonna have a little quick moment of silence for prayer. For sure that, for sure that, you feel me? That was just a little prayer to Jesus right there. And my camera tripping. Oh, I'm gonna say shake bit. I ain't gonna lie, my camera, I noticed my camera be nerfing my looks. Like, I look worse when I'm on this camera, but like when I'm on my phone camera, I look good. So I really don't even know. Um, 420 was yesterday. I was high as a fucking guy. A little bit drunk too. Uh, I didn't do shit. There was no motion. I thought there was motion. I was supposed to go to Savannah. I was supposed to go to ATL or I was supposed to go to Tennessee and all three of those moves got sold because Savannah was six hours away and I couldn't get a cut. I wasn't finna go to Savannah because Orange Tr Orange Crush, that hoe had too many bitches out there and I was not finna pull up with no cut. That shit was dead. So I'm just gonna have, I had to miss out on that one. And then TSU, shit, my homeboy, he just never called that. Lame ass nigga. And the ATL, everybody in ATL said they was in Savannah. So we were cooked. Nigga stayed in the city. <laughs> but I was high though, so I can't get <sighs> Can't get mad. I ate some food yesterday. I took a run this morning. Hey. I'm just trying to be rich at this point, man. But now today, I'm gonna do a little quick little story time for y'all. I'm gonna have some react. I gotta post another reaction video. I ain't posted my. Uh, I had posted or I had made a little reaction video with so, uh, with Bond and King Lord and shit, but I forgot to post that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit late. That's my fault. Hey, but y'all niggas got me to a hundred views on that vlog. Y'all niggas give a fuck about a nigga that much? That's real. Let's look. Let's see where it's at right now. I think it was at like one hundred four or some shit. Let's look. Let's look. One twelve, nigga. And we got another video to 3K. That's fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And we have 190 subscribers, 10 more subscribers, so I hit 200. Dude, we going fucking nuts. Damn. My fault, bro. But I ain't like today's story time. Huh? We're going to be talking about one of my worst ass whoopings. No cap. That nigga just classic Ruby, he gave me this idea. He had did this shit like a few months ago. But I was like, shit, I used to get my ass whooped a stupid amount of times in my childhood because I was bad as fuck. So I got really a lot of stories to tell about getting my ass whooped. But this specific one, I want to say I was either in seventh or eighth grade, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think it was seventh or eighth grade because I was, I was going to be in high school soon. So. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know about y'all, but me, when it came to school and they gave me homework, that shit was not getting done. I was always a good test taker, but homework and essays and shit, that shit was not getting done. I ain't gonna lie. You think I'm gonna go home and do some fucking work? <laughs> I just spent eight hours at school. <laughs> Crazy, man. So, basically, my whole issue with, from fucking elementary school to high school was I basically just never did homework. I would do the classwork, I would do tests and shit, but I would never do homework. And, I, I'm not, I mean, it might be the same for every school and shit. But, you know, homework is worth a good percentage of your grade. So, basically, I just went into, like, the last of the nine weeks and shit to put in all my work that I haven't turned in and stuff. But, shit, that's besides the point. We, I think... We was getting close to the nine week, or I just wasn't turning shit in, and my teacher kept getting tired of it. So she had to talk to me and stuff. She was like, "Yeah, you're not doing anything." First of all, these niggas was them niggas got me put on ADHD medicine because they was like they 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 referred to my doctor. They was like, "I think he needs this to focus on all that shit." No, bitch, like I just didn't fuck with school. Like fuck all that. I mean, I'm a smart nigga. You know, I don't need none of that focusing shit. You know, because the shit needed to be done, shit needed to be done, but it just wasn't going to be done at the time you wanted it to be done, type shit. It was going to be done on my time. Which, you know, shit should be. You know, that's me. It's my life. You feel me? I'm the main character. Nigga, you going to get this shit when I tell you to get it. You feel me? But, damn, bro. My fucking hair look weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm sweet. I don't know. But basically, bitch, she was like, 
She, had, I think she had emailed or called my my my, my parents, but I when I was in there, and she was like, "Oh yeah, you know, little Don, he's not doing his homework. He's not turning it in, and yada yada yada. You know how them teachers be? They be trying, they be gassing in the emails and shit. So I'm already like, fuck." You just email my parents. I don't want to go home today. So you know, you know how with all niggas do. You feel me? The school day get down. You happy as fuck through the whole school day. You, you, you happy as fuck. It's just like a normal school day to you. But once you hit that bus, shit get serious. You already know you going home to an ass whoop. So I'm in this whole stress. I'm on the bus. You know, I laugh with my friends and shit. And then my my bus stop is at, is at it's the last stop until you know uh, the bus driver get off. So. I'm in this, I'm like, fuck, we find this man tonight, but I'm by myself and shit. I told that nigga to drop me off, you know, <laughs> like a like a half a mile away. I was like, shit, I need, I need to walk this off. So I'm in this whole walking, you know, the way my street's set up, you can see, like, what cars are in the driveway. So I'm peeping in the driveway, I'm like, oh, shit, my dad not home. <laughs> so I'm in this, I'm like, oh, shit, hey, this is a good thing. I'm like, so maybe I can convince my mama. You feel me? Because, you know, your mama's always going to be more open to hearing than your dad. Especially, you know, how my dad was. His dad, aggressive ass nigga. But, I got to the house immediately. You know, I said, hey, you know what I mean? She said, hey, boom. She got straight to, what the fuck you not doing? What, what you not doing your homework for? I'm like, what are you talking about? I turned in those assignments. She's lying. You know, so we started, she started telling she like, so you already be that all. I'm like, man, yes, I did the work and shit, man. What are you talking about? You feel me? And then she had said some lesson even though I was being bad too. And she was like, she emailed your dad first. So right there, I was like, dun, dun, dun. My heart just dropped to my ass, nigga. I'm like, my dad. So I'm in this whole like, fuck. So like I said, it's my mama. So I'm finally getting that convincing her a little bit. You know, so I'm thinking we cool and shit. And it's a Friday, by the way. So she did this shit before a weekend, bro. A weekend. So, you know, my sister get home. Y'all just whole chilling. You feel me? Having a good time. My mom is just like, you just need to, you know, stay in your stuff. and you know, Make sure nothing ha like that happen again. I'm just so stressed. I'm trying to find out when my dad is getting home. Because I already know he's not going to be here and all that. So then, you know, at first he was going to be home soon. But, but, so I'm in this whole panic, I'm like, fuck. So then he called my mama again, and I hear, like, he not gonna be home until later. So I'm like, okay, this gives me time to take a shower and then go to sleep. So then he possibly forgets anything that has happened today. But, you know, we just, I'm just chilling on my mom and, and my sister. We watching TV shows, we having fun. So I'm thinking I'm off the hook. I'm like, oh, shit. I just successfully, you know, didn't get my ass whooped. The whole time, like, you feel me? Friday was a done day, you feel me? I went to sleep at, like, 12, 11. Went to bed. You know, so I'm thinking, you know, shit is straight. Tell me why. I wake up Saturday morning, bro. I wake up Saturday morning. I open up my eyes. Do my little stretch. My bed, you see how my bed is right there. You know, I lay, I lay that way. So my head is that way. Bro, I look over to my, to my left. Man, I see my dad with a ferocious look in his back. His ass. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm like, oh, uh, what's up? Nigga didn't even say two words. Nike shoe came off. Bang, bang, bang. I'm like, ah, ah. I'm like, damn, damn. Nigga, I just woke up. I still got morning breath. So I'm in this like, oh, shit. You know, obviously a nigga crying. I just got my ass beat. So then it's not done yet. You know, this nigga's talking about, so you ain't doing your work. Boom, boom, boom. I'm in this like, ah, shit, shit. And keep in mind, this ain't no belt, nigga. I'm getting beat with a shoe, nigga. A shoe. Hey, Nike, hold on. Where my Nike shoe at, bro? This whole beat, I'm already knowing. But this motherfucker right here, he's holding this whole like this. Beating this shit out of my ass with it. Nothing my ass. I ain't gonna lie. Cheeks is out, bitch. Cheeks is out. Cause I ain't gonna lie. 
That's how I just used to get whooped. I, they, they used to be bare ass that shit. You was getting hit with something, either fist or nothing. So I'm getting my ass whooped for like 15 minutes. I'm in this whole like screaming. I'm like, my mama in this hoe, she come in the room looking at me. I'm like, damn, bitch, help me. What are you doing? I, hey, I ain't mean to call it. <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, like, help me, my nigga. Like, what you doing? And then like he just beating the shit out of me. I'm like, damn, like, is it even this deep? Like, it's really not this deep. And that whole time, like, he get done, I'm in this whole crying, this nigga gonna tell me to stop crying. Nigga, you just beat me with the shoe. What are you talking about? Talking about stop out there crying and clean up. Nigga, fuck you. I just got my ass beat. My ass is hurting. Got my ass beat so bad, I, when I'm sitting down, it's uncomfortable. I'm in this whole, like, this bitch. I'm in this whole trying not to have my cheeks on the, on the damn, on the damn chair. I'm in this whole, like, fuck. Damn, breakfast getting on. I'm having an awkward ass break. Niggas trying to be cool with me and shit. No, nigga, I just got my ass beat over some shit I did do. You know, I... Damn, it's hot as fuck. Now, I chose to not do my work, but hey, it is what it is at that point. You gonna beat me over that shit for real? I ain't gonna lie. That, that was just like some, some crazy ass shit. I was one of my worst ass with because I ain't never like just had nothing like happen like that before. Like, nigga, you really... What, like I, what my question is about the whole thing, how long was he standing there while I was asleep? And what was he plotting on in that whole time I was asleep? He was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to whoop his ass off real. Because if I would have got my ass whooped out of sleep, that would have been crazy as fuck. I ain't going to lie. I would have been mad. I ain't going to lie. But the fact that he woke up, let me get myself together just a little bit, just enough for a little consciousness, and then started beating my ass was absolutely diabolical and insane. I was like, shit. Like, why does this have to happen to me? You know, because kids on my school, they're not getting their ass whooped. They're getting a little slap on the wrist. That's it. My parents used to beat the shit out of me. And my dad. You feel me? So I'm in this hall like, damn. I don't know how bad, you know, Rigby got his ass beat. But I ain't going to lie. I don't think that nigga got beat with a shoe guy. No, you feel me? He probably got beat with a switch, though. So that's probably his worst. But I ain't going to lie. That shit was some, it was some shit. I don't think I'll ever do nothing like that. I kind of. <laughs> beating, beating a kid with a shoe is crazy though. I ain't gonna lie to you. But at the end of the day, you know, a nigga thug that shit out. I was still being bad the next week in school. <laughs> Work was still not getting that out. I, I did not, I did not take that. You know, I did not learn that lesson right there. I cannot cap. I just didn't give a fuck. But lesson of the day is what this story is. Do your damn work. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you could do what I did. You feel me? I ain't had the greatest grades, but, like, nigga, I passed. <laughs> and I graduated. And I could, I can go to a college. I'm just working right now. But, you know, a lot of niggas are in college and still making the same amount of money as me. So, I mean, shit. Some niggas are out of college still making the same money as me. But you need to be real with something and figure out what you want to do, you feel me? But that schoolwork, y'all need to go do that if you young, man. Go do that schoolwork because your daddy going to beat your ass. And if he don't beat your ass, I'm going to beat your ass. And I got a belt. And it got metal on it, nigga. So if you ever play, hey, and little Aiden, that's my nephew right there. Little Aiden, if you watching this video, you better be doing good in school. I'm going to come over and I'm going to beat your ass, boy. All right? All right. I ain't gonna, that's gonna conclude with the story time for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was a little, you know, it was a little, it wasn't really dark. You feel me? It was, it was bad for me, of course, because I got my ass beat. But, you know, that was like fucking, how many years ago? Seven? Eight? <laughs> I can't give a shit now. And I hope y'all enjoyed the story, though, for real, for real. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have another uh, reaction video for y'all today. Um, I don't know when, some, probably soon for real, for real. I don't know when I'm going to post this story. So I'm probably after the, the reaction video. But I'm going to be making more reaction videos today and this week. We're getting back. We're going to get back consistently. I just had to take a little two or three day break. Once again, thank you for two 3K videos and 100 views on my vlog. That's crazy. Niggas actually give a fuck about my vlog. That's actually insane. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate the support. Make sure y'all niggas become the best version of yourself for real, bitch. Man, ain't gonna lie. Don't let no nigga tell you you can't do it. Because you're a real nigga to yourself. You know? Don't be no lame ass nigga. Don't be green. And. Yeah, that's really all I gotta say on the phone. You feel me? Fuck them shit.